um, my friend from Connecticut for uh, managing the time on, on the uh, minority side for this important resolution. And in particular, I want to thank my good friend from uh, New York State and colleague uh, Vito Fasella for introducing uh, this important resolution uh, commemorating and celebrating the 200th anniversary of the Archdiocese of New York, uh, a history uh, that is replete with uh, so many tales, and, and not tales, but facts, uh, about the contribution of Catholics in New York, in particular about the uh, institution known as the Archdiocese of New York, having at one time uh, amassed the entire state of New York and New Jersey, was mentioned before, and now having a smaller imprint, but no less significant an imprint today. And we think of the storied individuals who uh, fervently shepherded and shepherded uh, their flock in the Archdiocese of New York, starting with R. Luke Kincannon in 1808 to 1810, to present day Edward Michael Cardinal Egan, who took the reins of control in 2000, year 2000 and continue during this day. We look back historically, particularly during the, the Civil War. The Archdiocese had a, a, a very long history uh, going back to that point in time. And during the war, Archbishop John Hughes, who was a fervent defender of the Union and a personal friend of then Abraham Lincoln, um, he wrote to President Lincoln and Se Secretary Seward about the most effectual means for carrying on that war. At the Union's request, he visited Europe to exert his personal influence, especially in high circles in France, for the benefit of the national cause at that time. Another national cause the Archdiocese was strongly involved in was with the first wave of immigrants, predominantly Irish immigrants, to New York City. The Archdiocese developed programs to care for and assimilate those new immigrants to America and was the precursor to the Irish Immigrant Savings Bank, later to become known as the Immigrant Industrial Savings Bank and Immigrant Savings Bank today. These organizations over the years have developed into a strong base of charitable giving to keep the traditions of protecting the poor and the neglected, something that the Archdiocese of New York continues to do today. In fact, the Cardinal and the Archdiocese have been very outspoken uh, proponents of comprehensive immigration reform uh, to help uh, those least amongst us in society today, something that they continue to do in the tradition, the strong 200-year tradition of the Archdiocese uh, of New York. It was also mentioned before that Elizabeth Ann Seton, the first uh, saint uh, born in the United States, also a New Yorker, and the founder of the uh, New, York City, uh, public, uh, New York City Catholic school system, uh, and the contributions that that system has made uh, to our country. Uh, and uh, speaking as a product uh, of there, having Memorial High School in 1980, uh, which is no longer with us, but there are still many high schools that bear the names of uh, many of the, the cardinals and leaders uh, of the Archdiocese throughout the years and others who have made significant impacts uh, on the Archdiocese of New York. A tremendous uh, system that to this day continues to produce uh, some of the brightest and uh, minds uh, in, in, in not only the city of New York, but in the country, but also continues to forward uh, access uh, to those who are least amongst us to give them the, the opportunities that others had uh, before them. So I stand today here on the floor, uh, congratulating again Mr. Fasella for uh, introducing this resolution, but to uh, also once again commemorate this 200th anniversary of the founding of the Archdiocese of New York, a diocese that will go on uh, for many, 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 many years to come. And uh, we congratulate Cardinal Egan and all those, uh, Cardinal Connor who came before him, uh, Cardinal Cook, and all the men and women who have contr contributed, contributed in so many ways uh, to uh, its survival and its, uh, its, its really its, uh, its flourishment uh, throughout the history of New York City and our country. And uh, with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Connecticut's recognized. Thank you. I'd like to recognize that this time.